Terracotta Creation presents Quantum Reality, a fundamental concept in modern science and Vedas. Reality is not as fixed as it seems. In modern physics, we have discovered that at the deepest level, the universe exists in a state of possibilities rather than fixed outcomes. This is called quantum reality, where particles can be in multiple states at once until observed. This means that everything around us, matter, energy, even our own existence, is not a singular definite thing, but rather a field of potential that is shaped by observation. But what if I told you this concept was already known to the ancient sages of India? The Vedas and Upanishads describe a reality that is not separate from the observer. Instead, they teach that reality unfolds through four progressive states of consciousness. Understanding these states is the key to unlocking the true nature of quantum reality. According to the Mandukya Upanishad, there are four states of consciousness through which we experience reality. Jagrat, waking state. This is the state of the universe, body, mind and soul combined. It is the physical world where everything seems separate, fixed and real. Swapna, dream state. This is the state of the body, mind and soul where reality is fluid and subjective. In dreams, we experience worlds that feel real but they are created by our own consciousness. Sushupti, deep sleep state. This is the state of the mind and soul. The body is inactive, the mind is in stillness, and there is no experience of time, space, or identity. Here, everything exists in potential, just like quantum superposition. Turiya, pure awareness. Turiya is the state of the soul, beyond body, mind, and even deep sleep. It is not an experience, but the foundation of all experiences, it is the infinite field where everything exists together, never collapsing into just one thing. Thousands of years before quantum physics, Upanishads went even further. Beyond even Turiya, there is the Atman, the true self. The Atman is not just an observer, it is the source of all observation. It does not collapse reality, it witnesses it in its infinite form. Here's where science and spirituality meet. In modern physics, we say that observation collapses the quantum wave function into a single reality. But Vedanta tells us something different. It says, we are always observing quantum reality. It never truly collapses. The collapse only happens when we try to experience it through the limitations of the body and mind. This means that what we call collapse is not the end of superposition. It is simply the limitation of our perception. Section 4 unveiling the four from waking to pure consciousness quantum mechanics tells us that at the smallest level particles behave as if they exist in all states at once vedanta tells us that our consciousness is the field where these infinite possibilities unfold science and spirituality are describing the same truth reality is shaped by the observer but the observer is beyond experience this is why the upanishads declare tatvamasi you are that you are not just part of the universe, you are the observer, the experiencer, and the infinite reality itself. Section 5. The Witness Within, Atman and the Quantum Observer The concept of Atman in Vedanta philosophy resonates with the idea of the observer in quantum mechanics. Atman is the true self, the eternal, unchanging witness of our experiences. Just as the observer in the double-slit experiment influences the behavior of particles, Atman observes the ever-changing states of waking, dreaming, and deep sleep. It remains unaffected, untouched by the fluctuations of the mind and the senses. Atman is the consciousness behind the content of our consciousness. It is the silent observer within, the one who sees but is not seen. Understanding Atman is key to understanding the connection between quantum reality and Vedic teachings. It suggests that consciousness is not merely a product of the brain. It is a fundamental aspect of reality, playing an active role in shaping our experience of the world. So what does this mean for us? It means that reality is not just what we see or touch. The Atman is the ultimate observer. It experiences all states of consciousness and the infinite superposition of the universe. While science tries to define reality through equations, Vedanta teaches us to realize it through awareness. Perhaps the greatest discovery of the future will not be a new equation, but a new way of seeing reality itself. 
Section 6. Bridges of Understanding, Quantum Physics and Vedic Wisdom At first glance, quantum physics and Vedic philosophy seem worlds apart. One is a product of modern science, relying on experimentation and mathematical equations. The other is rooted in ancient spiritual tradition, emphasizing meditation and inner exploration. Yet, despite their differences, these two disciplines converge on a remarkable conclusion. The universe is not a collection of separate objects. It is a unified field of interconnected energy and consciousness. The observer effect in quantum mechanics finds a parallel in the Vedic understanding of consciousness as a fundamental force in the universe. The wave-particle duality of light echoes the Vedic concept of Maya. Maya refers to the illusory nature of the material world, where things are not always as they appear. These parallels suggest a profound connection between the findings of modern science and the wisdom of ancient traditions. Section 7. Beyond the Veil – A Holistic Vision of Reality Exploring quantum reality and Vedic teachings offers a holistic understanding of the universe. It challenges us to move beyond a materialistic worldview. It invites us to consider a deeper, interconnected reality. This understanding can transform our relationship with ourselves, each other, and the planet. Bridging science and spirituality offers a meaningful understanding of the universe. If this video helped you see reality in a new way, hit like, subscribe, and let's explore these mysteries together. Share your thoughts in the comments. How do you see the connection between Vedic knowledge and modern quantum science?